Okay, hey, first of all, check it out. Captain America is a cowboy fan. You see the star. You see this right there. You see the star. So we're America's team. Captain America is a Cowboys fan. Always have been. Always will be. Shane Young Grizz. This is what happened. I we shot it uh, yesterday, and I went to process it. Pressed my button to process, and it only had like ten seconds. I was like, where was it? It was a good episode, guys. We were talking out, but uh, I can sum it up here because I don't want to bother Grizz because you know Grizz is the foremost. Uh, knowledge guy of the Cowboys outside of organization. So he's a busy guy and it's just a lion. So I'm here to sum it up. We're both retired of hearing about all the uh, media hoopla. And I think um, Terrence Newman is because I think today he said he was just kidding about what he said. You know, he doesn't even blitz, which is true. And uh, he's not a physical player to knock nobody's block off to hurt somebody. He, he tackles. Uh, better than Dion, but he just tackles people. He just get them to the ground. He's not a punisher, uh, and I don't think he really knows how to punish people. Um, he knows how to intercept the ball. He knows how to run it back for touchdowns, and that's what I'm expecting out of this this game. Um, we talked about how bad the uh, offensive line of the Detroit Lions was, and Kitten can hurt you if he has time, but I just don't think um, he'll have any kind of time. I think they're averaging one sack per nine pass attempts. Can you imagine that? One sack per nine pass attempts. And, they're, and then they're going against our uh, potent uh, pass rush. Because, you know, I think I brought it to you earlier about, you know, the sacks between us and the Giants. Because the media is all talking about the Giants' D. But our D was consistently getting sacks every day. Now we're up at the top of the league in sacks. So I think we're going to improve on those numbers. Uh I don't see... I, last week, I was a little worried when I saw Minnesota beating the crap out of the Lions. I was like, wow, I hope uh, we don't think that we've got this game won already. But then when I saw, you know, when we talked to Brady on uh, DCFanatic.com and then when we uh, heard Terrence Newman's comments, I think we've already put ourselves out there, especially Terrence Newman. He has to have a good game because he's, you know, put himself out there for the media. So I expect him to come through. I expect Brady to come through. I expect all our defense to uh, put pressure on this offense. And um, DCFanatic.com was uh, kind of, um, he kind of liked my uh, analogy on the Dallas offense versus the Detroit defense. And I said it was like Michael Jordan going up against Muggsy Bogues. So uh, if you go to dcfanatic.com, you can hear the uh, the clip of that. And he's got the whole podcast there also. Um, that's pretty much it. We we both we both are pretty confident that the Cowboys will come through this week. Uh, I, I, I'm just waiting to see the game, see how it pans out, and then move on to uh, our next week, okay? All right. People who know the song, sing it with me. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, and those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. He's going to the fight, and the duel is due, and the red and white and the blue will come through, because Captain America is a cowboy fan. Peace out, people.